Hello and a very good morning, everyone. Welcome back to today's market outlook. How was your day yesterday? So for yesterday's market analysis, we started the day with a very docile economical lender and markets was not really moving much. However, towards the US market trading session at about uh, 10 p.m., we saw gold prices uh, spiking up to a high of 2,049 US dollars. And then after it came back down to a low of 2,019 US dollars. Okay. So this was what happened to gold prices yesterday. So before we have a detailed analysis on the MT4 charts, let us have a look and see what is coming up for today's economic calendar. So basically, today's economic uh, calendar is a mixed uh, batch of uh, economic data, mostly on the minor minor impact um, results and minor impact uh, events. So today at 2 p.m., we will be having the claimant count change from the UK and also the unemployment rate numbers from the UK. Basically, the claimant count change is pretty much similar to the U.S. Uh, unemployment claims uh, data, which is announced in the U.S. on a Thursday evening. And for the U.K., it will be announced today at 2 p.m. So basically, the claimant count change will take into account how many British citizens are seeking for the government's uh, assistance um, to sustain their living. Okay, So unemployment rate numbers uh, for tonight, uh, for today, this afternoon, um, from the UK, it is expected to come in at 4.2%. Uh, any reading below 4.2% will be a positive note, uh, theoretically, for the UK pound. And any reading above 4.2% will theoretically mean that uh, the economic uh, situation and also the empl employment situation in the UK is not doing that great and should theoretically be bearish if the data is more than 4.2%. Okay. So moving to 5 p.m., we will be having the zero economic sentiment um, data or reports coming out for the Eurozone and also for Germany. Both are coming out at 5 p.m. Towards 6 p.m., we will be having the National Federation of uh, Independent Business, Small Business Index. This is from the U.S. tonight, um, and this will come in at 6 p.m. And towards 8.30 p.m., we will be having the core producer price index numbers at 8.30 um, the final economic data for today would be the conference board leading index numbers coming up from the UK, and this will be released at 9.30 p.m. So, um, the US dollar continues to strengthen ever since uh, last Friday's uh, non-farm payrolls data strengthened the US dollar, and on uh, Monday itself, um, it continues to consolidate and ended on a bullish note. Okay, so this was the US dollar index yesterday. Um, Towards the morning session, Asian trading session, it was still consolidating. Hang it, it stood around for about uh, four to five hours, consolidating on this support line. And towards uh, towards nine plus five, 14, 2 p.m., uh, the US dollar strengthened. And only towards this one at uh, 1400 plus 519, uh, which is uh, 7 p.m., the US dollar weakens back, consolidates, finds the support, and then after pushes back up. Okay, so um, it was mostly a consolidation phase, but it was a bullish consolidation. So 2 p.m. as the U.S. dollar strengthened, uh, we do see the U.K. pound uh, weakening. Okay, this is the one. So the U.K. pound weakened at uh, 2 p.m. from 1.3069 to a low of 1.3024, coming down 46 pips. And towards the U.S. trading session at about uh, 7 p.m. local Singapore Malaysia time, the U.K. pound strengthens again. As the US dollar was weakening, um, the UK pound goes up from 1.3023 all the way to 1.3103. Okay, moving up 80 pips. So again, uh, although yesterday's economic lender and the beginning of the markets was mostly pretty uh, docile, just uh, going up 30 pips in the morning session for the UK pound, um, it started to, to get active um, towards the UK trading session and also towards the US trading session. Okay. So yesterday, overall, there was about uh, 50 pips down and 80 pips up, about 130, 150 pips uh, movements for us to catch some good profits. Okay, So as of this morning, um, you can see the UK pound moving up about uh, 29 pips as the as the US dollar index, as the US dollar is weakening about uh, 18 points. Okay, So moving on to um, Euro dollar. Euro dollar also was mostly bearish yesterday as the US dollar was uh, consolidating in the bullish trend. Okay, so for the Euro dollar again, uh, it moved down from uh, nine plus five fourteen to PM 
local Singapore and Malaysia time coming down 52 pips and then after pushing back up about 50 pips and only during the US trading session, um, it returns a further 52 pips. Okay. So overall, um, the, the euro dollar moves down about 61 pips for yesterday's market. So um, for today, we should be expecting the US dollar to again continue its consolidation. Uh, be a bit aware um, as of this morning, just now. It looks like it's uh, having some difficulty surpassing this level of 93.66. And currently, it is uh, pulling back. Possibly, we'll do some consolidation. And if it breaks this... Uh, this uh, uptrend line, uptrend, uptrend, up, uh, this dynamic uptrend line, um, it could come back down to test these levels again of 93.29, or if it manage, manages to find some good support, it can go to the next type of level of 93.76. Okay. Likewise, uh, if the US dollar uh, weakens, we could see the UK pound strengthening a little bit, possibly to okay back to the higher levels over here at 1.3161, which is about 76 pips to the upside. And if it does uh, weaken back, uh, we are looking for the UK pound to test the immediate support at 1.3065, which is about 25 pips down. And if the bearish move is even more drastic, we could see the UK pound uh, pushing back towards the 1.3017 levels, which is about 72 pips to the downside. Okay, uh, similar story to the Euro dollar. Um, if the US dollar uh, begins to weaken further, uh, we could see the euro dollar pushing back up to this resistance levels of uh, 1.1794, which is about 50 pips to the upside. And if the US dollar continues to uh, to strengthen further up, we could see the euro dollar pushing down to the next uh, support levels of 1.1723. Okay. So uh, yeah, so that, that is for the US dollar index, UK pound, and also euro. For gold prices, uh, yesterday gold prices was uh, very quiet throughout the Asian and UK trading sessions and only started to become active during the US trading sessions at about uh, this candle at about uh, 9 p.m. local Singapore and Malaysia time. The gold prices uh, moved up from 2,032 US dollars all the way to a high of 2,049. So it went up 17 US dollars before pushing back down. To touch a low of uh, 2019 US dollars. Uh, so it was uh, around about 30 US dollars movement down. Okay. Currently, uh, gold prices are still on a slightly bearish mode. Um, again, ever since uh, last Friday, when the non farm payroll status was uh, better than expected, um, it strengthened uh, last, last Friday's uh, economic data, strength, continued to strengthen the US dollar. And therefore, we do see um, the gold prices having a slight bearish run okay so for gold prices again um, it is finding good support over here at 2015 us dollars um, breaks this level possibly the next level down would be moving towards let's have a look uh, moving towards these levels of 2005 us dollars which is about uh, 15 us dollars to the downside and if it does manage to find some support and push back up the immediate uh, resistance will be at 2,033 US dollars, which is about uh, $15 to the upside. And if it does push further up, of course, we are looking towards this uh, resistance at 2,047 US dollars. Okay. So for silver prices, again, silver prices has gone a bit quiet. Okay. Um, yesterday it uh, moved up at about uh, 1 p.m. and also at about uh, 8 p.m. local Singapore and Malaysia time. So currently, our uh, silver prices are also consolidating uh, within this high and also within this low. Okay, so not much of a movement yet. S and P five hundred continues to consolidate on a slightly uh, bullish uh, trend, as it is still um, pushing up further and higher. Okay, so um, oil prices are uh, still pretty quiet. Uh, for yesterday, oil prices just traded within a range of about. Uh, $41.35 and to a high of $2.46, which is about a $1.10 range. Um, very tentative, very quiet still. I would say um, oil markets and also possibly for commodities, the markets are waiting for um, the ongoing negotiations uh, regarding extra stimulus uh, for COVID-19 aid, we call it COVID-19 deal. Okay, so yeah, 
So I guess uh, today's market will still have some movements coming up towards 2 to 4 p.m. and again 7 to 9 p.m. And of course, uh, in terms of yesterday's uh, job results, economic data, job openings, um, the job opening and labor turnover survey um, saw 518,000 uh, job openings being created, uh, rising to f- accumulatively to 5.9 million as of uh, the last day of June. And of course, uh, latest update regarding the COVID-19 aid, um, US uh, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Treasury Secretary Stephen, Stephen Munchin are open to negotiations. Okay, so if the uh, negotiations succeed, this will be the fifth, uh, fifth stimulus package approved by Congress uh, to support the economy. So bear in mind that uh, more than 3 trillion US dollars of uh, stimulus has been approved since uh, early this year. So um, this package is going to add to that uh, overall debt bill. Okay? So while although negotiations didn't go well for the last couple of weeks, Donald Trump uh, signed some ex- executive orders to approve uh, some short-term uh, stimulus measures to support the citizens and also the economy over the weekend. Okay, so these are the events that are coming up today. Um, again, if you are trading at UK pound, watch out for the two PM announcement, and possibly we could see some uh, movements re- on the UK pound um, as early as one PM all the way until three or four PM. Okay, and of course towards the evening, watch out for the seven to nine PM, <clears throat> seven to nine PM. Uh, trading hours. Okay, so I hope you guys have a good trading day ahead, and I'll see you again tomorrow for the next market updates. Take care, keep in keep in touch, and see you.